So I had to redo the recording for this video and I noticed something. I take shortcuts on words. <laughs> like, I literally said uh, attacking as tacking. What is wrong with me? You see, I don't even I don't even care to like show my uh my inaccuracies for how I talk in these videos. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about AGL Hit um, because he's getting his EZA on both versions. Uh, it's pain because I have to grind a Royal Tournament for both versions from here on out, so I'm not having fun. The only reason why I went to JP is because uh, that both versions were in sync and I wanted to use all the new units as soon as possible. Um, now that both versions are synced, which they should have been synced because I would have never had to go to JP, um, it's, it's great now that both versions are synced, but... Man, is it pain now. I mean, it's too late to go back now. Now, with that being said, the SSR, of course, is what we're going to be starting out for this AGL hit. So let's just go and jump straight into it. So he comes out October 19th of 2018 as an SSR, of course, on JP during the 26th World Tournament as a, a card that you can farm up to 23 million points. You guys already know this is one of these cards where you grind up to a specific amount of points in the World Tournament. You obtain him, and of course, yay, a little trophy card. But the thing is that this guy might actually be useful for his time only thing is, is that this guy's uh, issues is that A, he's an SSR, and B, they want you to sit him inside the first slot to get that chance to have that one turn stun as him being the first attacker in a turn, which you're absolutely not doing for a unit that does not have any sort of attack and defensive buff or any dodge inside battle road. And this card will not even be able to take a hit unless you burn at least two items. It's like a Nurse Chi Chi, I think that's what the item's called. That was a battle road meta item. Nurse Chi Chi is not saving this card. I don't even think so. There's no way that Nurse Chi Chi saves this card. Because even if this card gets hit by a super attack inside the first slot, granted he doesn't stun the enemy, it, this guy's dying. Like, this is just, it's, it's very unrealistic that you're putting this guy inside the first slot for that uh, the double stun proc, one being for one turn and one being for two turns. So let's talk about his card for his SSR. He comes out during the battle room, of course, as I've already stated. And his leader skill is AGL type 2 key and 50% of stats. Easy area was not out at the time, so this is pretty much just a worthless leader skill and the super attack that being the time skip uh supreme damage with a 30 percent chance to stun so that's a two turn stun he gets 60 percent attack and defense performing a super attack and he has a 30 percent chance to stun the enemy at the first attack and a turn that is a one turn stun so the nice thing about him is the fact that this guy is uh, technically uh, a double stunner but the only thing is that uh you're not putting this guy inside the first slot he's an ssr um, during the battle row meta and this guy needs to have two items burned to save his ass and there is no way that you're going to make the case to run this guy inside battle road to get that stun off because i'm very certain that there are better stunners back then at the time um and i think that's it yeah no attack defensive buff um no other defensive no, no defensive way to fall back on at all but even if then you could make the case that the stun chance is something that is that's worth him running inside battle road but even if then he's an ssr there's no way in hell that you're gonna like value this guy over another specific option that has a higher chance to stun has some more attack and defense in this card and of course is not a damn ssr so i'm gonna skip the links uh, in his uh, categories so we get to the um the post dokkan awaken version of this card so um that's it um hit are we using him back then inside uh um, the battle meta i'm um, probably not yeah, I don't think, uh, it's like, cool, he gets to attack a defensive up when forming a super attack, as well, stun chance, two separate stun proc chances, but the problem is, is that you're not putting this guy inside the first slot, he's getting turned to Swiss cheese every time, and I'm gonna talk about why ends. Now, with that being said, <laughs> why ends? <laughs> so, um, the <laughs> post-awakening for hit, because he's getting his easy A soon, oh my god, why, 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 bro? Oh my god, I hate that I have to grind double world tournaments. It is pain. It is a pain in the ass. Please, if anyone feels my pain out there, voice it. Because this is ridiculous, bro. Oh my god. I mean, I love that both versions are synced. But it's just, it is painful. It is. I just have to dedicate time to it and just suck it up as I've been doing throughout the years. So, um, with that being said, 
his, his uh, post Dokkan Awakening version. Okay, so he gets his Dokkan Awakening October of 2021. So that's during the God Event meta. Are you using this guy inside the God Event? Hell to the fuck. No. Let's see what he's doing. So his leader skill is buffed up from 2 key and 50% of the stats to 2 key and 70% of the stats. Um, easy area being out at the time. Just, I mean, sure, use him in there, I guess. Um, his super attack, of course, still being the time skip. He now stacks attack and still has a 30% chance to stun. Um, they could have buffed this up to a 50% chance to stun. I don't see why not. To make him a much more. Wait a minute. Yeah, I was about to say, I thought I confused the ESBR meta for the God event meta. Whew, because ESBR came out same day of 2020. I just almost mixed that up. But yeah, God event meta, this card came out during, you're still not using him inside the God event. Hell no. Okay, so anyways, um, super attack pack is a good, um, no, I'm a free to play uh, post, I'm just a free to play post awakened pre easy aid AGL hit is not working in the God event. All right. So, his uh, passive, um, I forgot to read his passive name, is Ace Fighter of Universe 6, this is a fire-ass name, this should have been the name of his post Oak on Awakening uh, passive, that would have been better, because Universe 6's pillar is just, this is just straight ass, let's just be honest, 100% attack and defense at the start of turn, nice, he finally starts out with attack defensive buff from his SSR, uh, he also gets 100% attack and defense performing a super attack, obviously nice, and he also gets 60% attack and a 50% chance to stun his first attack in a turn, you are not putting this guy into the first slot for the God of Man meta, you are not let me repeat that you are not putting this guy inside the first slot for the god of that meta i do not care how much dodge you built on him guys he takes one attack he switched cheese again he is cooked he is he's turkey he's done he's dead he's dead let's keep it a thousand right um and he also uh lowers the attack the enemy's attack for two turns which is obviously nice and has a 30% chance to dodge as a second or third attacker in a turn. Now, granted, it's not off-meta content. Um, this is all dandy. Um, sit him in the first slot. He gets an additional attack buff as well as a 50% chance to stun. So that could definitely help inside off-meta content. I mean, you could use him inside ESBR. Go right ahead. Um, because this guy will be able to lower the enemy's attack as well as have that dodge chance and that 30% chance to stun. Granted, that could possibly be helpful. Even if then... Um, even with that attack debuff... Because this guy... Better yet, no. He's probably getting cooked in, in ESBR yeah if he doesn't stun enemy he's cooked yeah now i mean that's a 50 percent chance to stun as a coin flip uh stun chance for that one turn but um yeah i don't know it's just all it's like it's it's luck yeah and no you're not putting this guy inside the first slot for esbr even with an item yo is it really just like a repeat of his ssr really it's it, it might just be a repeat for his, his ssr wow i didn't think we we came so far yeah because he comes out uh, october of 2018 and then he almost, how many years ago? That's almost three plus years later. He gets his awakening. He's inside the same spot he was before. Um, yeah. What is stack and attack doing for us? What, what is this doing for us? What, really? It, it, during the God of Man, it's not working. No. No, it's... <laughs> Why can this be a 50% chance to dodge as he first stack in a turn? Then I would have been like, okay, he's definitely going to work in ESBR. Of course, that being the um, the off meta content at the time and the meta content being the God of Man meta. Sure, he's going to work uh, if he has a 50% chance to dodge as he first attack in a turn. Because, okay, you build him full dodge. You hope and pray that he gets his 30% chance to stun off. And he, do he doesn't. He has that um, that full dodge build as well as that 50% chance to dodge as he first attack in a turn. Cool, that's if he had that. But the problem is that, um, guys, he has... This is all he has is if he's inside the first slot. This, this is all he has. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to answer the question, no, this like this kit is not working in the God of it. No, no, no. Yes, kids, we got that. Good, beautiful. Let's move on. Um, so the post EZA. Let's see what we're looking at here. I have not seen this post EZA. Um, we're gonna be going over. Let me actually go over here. Um, let me just spoil the next video. Um, the video ideas. Uh, we're talking about you tomorrow, you the next day, and we're we already spoke about you. Uh, we're not going to talk about you. I'm very certain I spoke about you. And we'll talk about the diamond cards. Yeah, as we go on. We're going to talk about both the diamond cards in the same day. Yeah. And then, I'm going to wait for you to be in LR, because I'm very certain you're going to be LR, just like the Frieza. The quest mode, um, LR. I mean, we'll just wait. Um, we're not talking about you, because we already spoke about you. Um, Nail, I don't think I spoke about it. I probably did. I don't, I don't think I spoke about Nail, but I, for damn sure, did not speak about you either. You two will get talked about, for sure. So you guys already know the schedule. If you guys want to know my my unit review, um, like how I record these unit reviews and know that the next character is coming, just look at Dokkan Info. 
Literally, like, look at both the Dokkan Info websites. So on both this one, I'll just spoil it. I don't even give a damn. Just go to this one or this one. Hey, so you guys know the next video. So this is for um <laughs> all my loving supporters. I love you guys. So I'm going to talk about um his uh, post easy because I have no idea what his post easy does. So his leader skill now is three key and 100% stats to AGL. So, of course, solid for a uh, easy air for whatever you want to use it in. Or maybe inside battle road if you, uh, you're a newer player, you easy a him. And then, of course, you get something done. This leader skill could be used somewhere, right? Like for something. Who knows? Or maybe in battle road. I mean, not battle road. Well, you could use them in battle road, but battlefield, sure. It'll help somebody somewhere. Um, Would I use it? Obviously not, but... An earlier, like an early to mid, get like middle ground player would possibly use it. So, uh, his super attack, of course, still the time skip extreme. Um, he stacks attack still and he gains 30% defense one turn with a 50% chance to stun. It only took how many years to buff that 50% chance to stun up? Um, this card dropped October of 2018. We are in October of 2024. Um, guys, that is a smooth approximate, that's a smooth approximate six years. We came far. We, we came far. It's crazy to think. It's pretty easy, eh? It's, they're almost in the same boat. You're almost never going to use this this SSR in Battle Road back in October 2018. And you're almost never going to use this guy in his pre-easy, eh? Inside the Extreme Super Battle Road event. And that is off-meta concept for the time. And there is no way in God-given hell, Kami, forgive me, that you're going to use this guy inside the god of it. You are lying to me. You're lying to me. Okay? I, I won't even take it serious. So, um, super attack effect got better. Of course, they buffed up his stun chance. Cool. As well as that 30% defense one turn. Much better super attack effects. Um, what's crazy is that he's AGL. Specifically extreme AGL. Could he work inside the cell max event? He has a stun chance. Okay. He could work in there. Um, that's something you could point out. Anyways, uh, passive, um, Universe 6's pillar, this should have been Ace of Universe 6, right? That's what it, what it should have been. So, um, his passive is, uh, okay, so 2 key and 160% attack and defense at the start of the turn. And uh, he also gets 120% attack and defense when performing a super attack. And he gets 20% attack and defense with each super attack perform up to 80%. Nice, I like that we're building up attack and defense. Granted, it's only with each super attack perform. Hopefully, he has additional super attack chance. He also gets additional 100% attack. And he launches an additional attack that has a 50% chance to come a super attack. And a 70% chance to stun the enemy. This is what I'm talking about here. Well... Even if then, no, he's not working in the first slot. Still, you're still not going to put him in the first slot. No. For the Cell Max event, he's not getting, he's not taking that hit when the, within those first couple of turns. Maybe, maybe if Cell Max is not attacking and he, he and he could be stunned, go for it. But if this guy can't stun Cell Max, he's, he's a fish. He's dead in the water. And attacked enemies attack lower by 30% for three turns. Okay, so the attack will still be lower by the time he comes back on turn. And he gets an additional 2 key and 50% chance to dodge as the second or third attack in a turn. That is what I'm talking about. Um, attack debuff as well as a 50% chance to dodge is as the second or third attack in a turn. I do like that. And he has a 70% chance to crit if the enemy is in the attack status or or um, stunned. Well, the attack down status or stunned. And he launches a guaranteed super when there is an enemy whose name is Goku. Let me tell you guys, this is for free. In any of these Supreme Battle Spectacles with... Um, uh, a Goku that you're going up against, you are not using this guy. You are not, you are not, you, no, no, n hell no. Cell Max is the first event that comes to mind. Yeah. Gogeta? That's an interesting one too. You can also make the case for Gogeta. Because can't Gogeta get his attack lowered? You can actually make the case because he'll still have that, that dodge chance as well as that multi-turn attacking buff. Gogeta's an interesting one. Yeah. Beast Gohan, uh, I mean, if he gets locked, he's fucking dead. Um, uh, uh, let's see, let's see. Memorial Battle. If, if this guy gets touched by Gogeta, he's fucking, he is literally ground beef. Like, chop meat. A chopped cheese, like, just done. Yeah. Um, he's funny. It's funny because you can actually probably use this guy for some content. You probably could. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. His post easy is okay, actually. Now, granted, he doesn't have too many stats, and he is going to be uh, really heavily reliant on dodging, but 
that attack debuff and that 50% chance to dodge is the the strongest thing about this card. Easily. And if you're going up against Cell Max, I mean, I guess the stun chance, I mean, cool. Like, yeah. But outside of that, I mean, Cell Max is probably going to be the biggest viability that you would use him up against because, of course, he'll be able to stun Cell Max. But, um, yeah, as well as him. Yeah, because he'll have that 50% chance to stun. He'll lower Cell Max's attack for three turns and he'll have that 50% chance to dodge. Yeah. Um, Cell Max is where this guy would probably be effective. I'm now tempted to actually try him in there, too. Okay, and his link set is Supreme Warrior, Experienced Fighters, Cold Judgment, In Fighter, Shocking Speed, Unit, uh, Warriors Unit 6, excuse me, <laughs> and Shattering the Limit. His categories is on his Universal Survival Saga, Universe 6, Target Goku, Rapid Growth, Space Traveling Warriors, Legendary Existence, Accelerated Battle, Tournament Participants, and Super Bosses. And the 200% of the skills that this card is on is, uh, that's five, five total. Um, uh, Kales, hell no. Topo, the, uh, maybe, maybe, I would, maybe, maybe for Topo. Um, Goku Black, uh, no, 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 no for Goku Black. These two, hell yeah, absolutely these two. Well, Topo, yes. Topo, UI, Jiren, yes. Um, you, uh, you can probably talk me into, I don't know. Kale's, I, I, you can't talk me into Kale, no. I don't want to hear nothing. Nathan about kill his best linked partner is pycon 6 key 30 percent attack and 35 percent defense no yeah i mean you could use him next to ajl jiren that's his next best linked partner attack jiren no uh i mean tech uh, no 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 well so that's about it uh i think that's all for agl hit um let me know what you guys think about it down below uh um, join the 24 7 disco server link to my disco service down below in the description for you guys to join today uh i appreciate you guys for watching you guys if you guys leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys next video again i love you all peace